Well, it is seven months later than normal, but the Masters begin in Augusta, Georgia on Thursday. And there's a Northeast Ohio man who for the last 12 years has captured the hearts of golfers at Quail Hollow Country Club. An 82 year old with enough wisdom and love to fill the whole course. Lindsay Buckingham shares his story. In the game of golf, you take a swing, waiting for the ball to land. And much like life, good shot or bad, you have to play from where it lies. Every day, all day, people are here to hit ball. That's what they want to do. 82-year-old Cecil King knows the game well. He's worked here on the driving range at Quail Hollow Country Club in Lake County for the last 12 years. Driving the cart to get the balls is part of his job. Hey! <laughs> he does it every time. But making everyone smile and laugh, no matter where they came from, is just who he is. I just see people, and I think that that's a gift. Cecil, at 82 years old, does does the range like he's like he's 30. I don't have to worry about the range when he's on. Cecil's work ethic developed early in his roots, Trenton, Tennessee. Growing up in an era that saw things like polio, deprivation, and segregation, so at just nine. He says he went to work in a cotton field to help his family. I, I realized at that time that my parents weren't making an awful lot of money, and we didn't have indoor plumbing and all none of those things. I said, "Wow, I, I've really got to help." But when I look back in retrospect to all of that, uh, it, it didn't it strengthened my belief in God because you were exposed to those conditions for for years. Conditions preparing him for adversity and breaking through barriers when he was hired with chemical company Diamond Shamrock. When they hired me, they had been in business 74 years, but not hiring too many minorities at all. He would stay there for 38 years, his mentor and dear friend Don Stallard by his side. If we don't hire that young man, shame on us. That's right, that's what he did. A proud businessman, a prouder father, his children successful, degrees from Howard University, Northwestern, and Case, raised in Cleveland Heights, adjusting to those duffs that landed in tough territory. We were like the only two blacks in our school. And so dad was just, it's, he would meet people and we had, he organized block parties. So here you have this black family moving into town. We would do all these things as a community, all of that stuff is the result in large part because of my dad. I have a certain legacy of both my parents to carry forward. And you know, I, I, I can't show mom anymore. She's left us, but I still got dad. And today, as our country feels in a divided place, Cecil longs for common ground. It's wrong if you're not including other people because they are part of this world, they're part of our lives. You try to separate this group from that group, it's wrong. He's happy where he is with his girlfriend of 20 years, Pam, his children and grandchildren, and his golf family at Quail Hollow. I cry a lot sometimes when I think about, excuse me, <laughs> when I think about how my life has been, how people have helped me, how I've given back, and it all worked. So back to the green he goes, with an open heart, forever playing where the ball lies. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. Thanks for that, Lindsay. Cecil is also working on a book detailing his life's experiences, and he tells us the theme is gratitude. Well, we're certainly lucky to know him.